Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Ned and in part 3 of this video series we will learn how to create a login interface for both the admins and the reps. Let's have a look. To begin, click on the Authentications object. This object will allow you to build your login interface. So when you see email or username and a password combination on the website, that's exactly what you'll be building under this object. And it's very easy to begin, just click on the link here at the top. What you need to do next is select your data source. Now when you click on this drop down, you're going to have access to all five of your tables. When we create the login interface, we usually want to pull the email and password, and that information resides inside the admin table and also the reps table. Let's begin with the admin first. For your setup options, you have two choices. You can use Express if you need a quick login screen that pulls the email and password fields, or you can do Custom if you need additional customization options. I'm going to use custom just to explain how you can validate the person that's logging into the application. So if you select the first radio button, which is the recommended option, we're going to be looking at this data source and all the information inside that data source. If you select the second radio button, you can allow administrators to log in using social media. So they can log in using the Gmail account, Twitter account, and we also give you OpenID. If you use the third radio button option, well now you can use a combination of both the admin table or your admins can log in using social media. So you have two different choices. And we also have SAML, which is only available on corporate level plans. If your employees have network credentials that they're currently using to log into their account, they can use those same credentials simultaneously to log in to a Caspio application as well. So this way you don't have two separate sets of credentials you can use the same combination of credentials to log in across two different places. In our use case, we're going to use the first radio button. And as you can see, we have our email field and our password field. Now notice that my label says a username for my email field. I'm just going to rename that really quickly to have it say email. If you would like to add additional login fields, you can click on the plus icon, use the authentication field, and perhaps you want the users to add their name as well. So click on the Add button, and now before they can log in, they have to input their email, their password, and their name before they can log in for additional layer of security if you need that. Now in our example today, that's a bit of an overkill, so we're going to remove that field by clicking on this button here. I also recommend that you expand the advanced settings you do have some options here as well that you can enable to your login screen. So for example, logout destination. When a user clicks on the logout link, you can actually have the user be redirected to a new page. We can also have timeout and redirection. So if you click on this link, perhaps after two hours of being logged in, if the user is not using the application, we can have them be redirected to a different URL as well. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. We're not going to enable that in our application. And when you're done, all you really need to do here is click on Create to save your changes. Let's give this a name. We're going to call it Demo Admin Login. Click Finish. And this is now going to be used as the login screen for all the administrators to log into the application. Let's build our second one for the reps. And I'm actually going to speed through this really quickly just so that you can see how quickly you can build a login screen once you get the hang of how to navigate inside Caspio. So this time I want the reps table, which contains all the rep information, custom, recommended. I'm just going to change my label to email, go down and click on create, and let's call this demo reps login. We now have our two login screens created. This is what I personally like to call a foundation in Caspio. Now we can move on to more of the fun stuff where we start developing our forms and reports. So I hope to see you in the next video where I teach you how to build all the functionality that you'll need for your application. And in the last video of this series, we'll take a look at how to deploy the application to a website and be able to log in and gain access to all of the forms, all of the reports, and all of the data. I hope to see you there. Thank you.